Good mythical morning. I don't know if you know this, but the election is just around the corner. I know that. Uh, so we want to remind you that you should vote like a beast this November. So head on over to votelikeabeast.com where we have created a site and done everything we can to empower you to vote like a beast. That means getting educated, getting empowered, and getting that ballot and voting for what you believe in. Check out votelikeabeast.com for all your voting needs and thank you for being your mythical best. Yeah, thank you. Now we wanna get educated on some of that good old fast food and emphasis on the old because today is all about uncovering the humble beginnings of some of the most famous fast food restaurants and then shuffleboarding our answers. Yes, we're doing the shuffleboard thing today and you know what, it's a new season and we've seen that you guys have had some comments about this game. You're not yeah. complaining, you're no. just giving us some constructive feedback. Yeah. And so we are going to take some of your suggestions into account. We've made some changes and you'll see those in a second. Yeah, we're all ears and while we were changing things, we spent a considerable amount of time brainstorming some new titles. But uh, we couldn't decide, so we're just gonna call it The Shuffleboard Game. It's time for The Shuffleboard Game, Fast Food Edition. Welcome to The Shuffleboard Game Zone. <laughs> yeah, that's catchy. All right, in each round, we're gonna taste some food from a popular fast food restaurant, and our job is to guess when that fast food restaurant was first open to the public, and we're gonna indicate our guests by shuffling down to that decade at this end of the board. Now, we were told that some of these restaurants, there was precursor versions or they were percolating for a while, but we're, our answers are really when that restaurant is now as we know it, when it started. Whoever's closest to the actual decade gets the points and then the loser will have McDonald's fries dumped down their pants. Let's shuffle. Yay. McDonald's. Classic. Now, I know you're a Big Mac man, so if you want to oh, if you want to go after okay. that. I mean, I like it, but you have a special place for it. Mm, yeah, my mouth. A special place in your mouth. Mm. No. Like we have to eat McDonald's to remember what it tastes like. Oh gosh. Like that's helping at all. This is older McDonald's. How long has it been sitting out? That nugget was not fried recently. I'm wondering should I spit this out or should I just go down go, with no, it? No, hey man, it's good for your good for your innards. <laughs> Wash it down with some old Coke. Okay, now you may have noticed that we have not revealed the answer to you so that you can play along. Uh -huh. um, and in a few seconds, we are gonna reveal the answer to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going first. Why don't you reveal what you think the answer is to me? There's another change that we've made. Whew, making all kinds of changes. Look at us. We have organized the decades in chronological order. So 1910 is here, going all the way up to 1990 in the back. So it's more of a chronological scale. And also, we turned the numbers so that we could read them. And that was really just for us. <laughs> okay. I love when numbers are facing me. Oh man, so McDonald's. I know McDonald's existed in some form in the 50s, right? Because there's like these classic photos where you see like a 57 Chevy in front of the golden arches. Could be fake. Did, what was his name, Ray Kroc? Yeah, Ray Crocodile. Was he doing burger stuff in the 40s and then open McDonald's in the 50s? You know, it doesn't really matter because I can literally land in both 1940 and 1950 thanks to our new system. Mm. And that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to split the difference. He's gonna try to split the difference. We also decided to make this into- Whoa, 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 stop! Way too hard. Okay. You split the difference between 60 and 80. Okay, so. <clears throat> yeah, I, see, I watched that movie with Michael Keaton. It's a pretty dang good movie. <sighs> yeah, so definitely 50s. You can't lose. If you just come on this side of me, I don't you know, know it's this, not the 80s or the 90s. I don't know how this board behaves, though, so it could be finicky. Come on, 50, 1950. Woo, stop, 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 stop. Yeah! Oh, oh, accuracy. You're actually in 19, 20, 30, 40, and 50. That, that's an interesting little thing that's happened Dynamic. with the new board. Okay, the movie was called The Founder. Yes. And salesman Ray Kroc saw a lot of potential in the small burger restaurant owned by brothers Maurice and Richard McDonald. He opened the first franchise McDonald's restaurants in Des Plaines, Illinois in 1955. And here is that photo you were referencing. Yeah, see, look at that. So, I, I, you just, you, you see saw the, the, the arches and you see the 55 Chevy, whatever that is. Now, uh, did, didn't we visit that? We no. visited lots of places. No, not that place. Little burgers in stacks. Now this is White Castle. Why does it stink? <laughs> oh, 
Is it? It's, it's the onions. It's, it's just the onions. It's actually they're they're actually pretty tasty, man. Yeah, they are. It hits a very particular spot. Yeah, the top of the the top of the thing is is it's uh, crispy on top, man. It's crispy. That's... I like this a lot. All right, so I'm gonna go first because. I'm finding myself in the in the lead. Um, I think we've done White Castle once. We've done it. What does that mean? Eaten there. We robbed it. It's not a place that I think about going. But when do you think about it being born? I think it was before McDonald's. Yeah. Wow. I know that sounds crazy, but it may, it's medieval. Yeah. I mean, it you could know? be from the 1500s. Yeah. My official guess is 1940. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I I think it's older. Ooh, stopped a little short there. Huh. Man, hopefully it's that old, 1920. Uh, man, I was thinking at earliest, 1960. I don't know why, I have absolutely nothing to go on other than the fact that like, when did people think, like burgers being sold in the fast food place was really made famous by McDonald's, which happened in the 50s. And then somebody was like, we gotta mix it up, we gotta make them smaller, which happened after the 50s, which would be the 60s. Oh, he's hitting me. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, man, I've thrown the game away. There's a bit of a drift in our board, I think. There's a pretty a big left you, turn. You drifted right in front of a me. A big left turn. I'm not, I'm not complaining now. Okay, with only $700 and an idea to sell small square hamburgers, Walter Anderson and Billy Ingram opened the country's first White Castle, recognized as the first fast food chain in America in Wichita, Kansas in oh, the no. year 1921. Oh, you're yeah, right! Yeah, I've you... nailed it twice! Well, hold on though, we're both in 1920. But here's I'm, a here's I'm a photo more... of what it looked like. Well, that's And you can see appetizing. that the, the hamburgers only cost five cents, and they were also credited for the first assembly line and hamburger bun in the fast food So they food were industry. the first automators. Okay, so this has never happened before, but I do agree that if you both land in it, the person who has more of their puck in it gets the point. How does that never happen in the history of this game? So many changes, okay. so much to discover. Links up, two to zero. Oh, it's time for the express. Oh, you went for the low main. How fast can a panda run? I bet you they can run faster than a human. You know what? Mm -hmm. It's like one of those things that like, you watch enough Discovery Channel, it's like, the panda has been known to run 72 miles per hour. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I never would have known it unless I watched Discovery Channel. Panda Express. I see you're opening your fortune cookie. Boy, that's good. I'm this. having some good fortune today. Maybe the best fortune I've ever had on a shuffleboard game. Man, I'm really hungry. Your quiet charm will attract the attention of others. Is that their way of telling me to shut up? Yeah, yeah, please. Quiet yourself. <laughs> Chinese food became a craze in North America in, I believe, the 60s. But Panda Express, they, they were 30 years longer in development. My answer is 1990. I'm gonna give it a nice little bank shot. Luck don't fail me now. Oh, gosh. Come on. You're there in, we go. Okay, first of all, my fortune says, your upbeat nature will attract unexpected allies. That's bull crap. I mean, I wanna know specifically, like what's gonna happen to me? Like, you will be in a wreck. You think having an upbeat nature <clears throat> will not get you allies? You think that's bull crap? I want a fortune, not just an observation. Okay, Link. Well, I'm really enjoying your upbeat attitude. Now, I've eaten at the Panda Express many times. And one of the things that you'll notice when you're eating at a Panda Express is that in every single one, there is a plaque that talks about the very first Panda Express opened in Southern California. I'm getting nervous now. I think it might be like Pasadena. You reading plaques? I'll, I'll, I'll read any, <laughs> you show me a plaque, I'll read it. I believe the answer is either 1980 or 1990 because I didn't read it close enough. <laughs> <laughs> So well, really, I'm, in, I'm touching both. I'm gonna go with my instinct. I think it was in the 80s. Oh gosh, you're oh. missing me. Oh gosh! Right. I know what you feel like right now. Is this, what happened to I me, man? I gave you me. This it, new, it feels horrible, doesn't it? Uh, the season, so season so 18 bad, board is just not treating me right. And never to get it? Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. I'll just eat some Panda Express. Somebody Panda this Express man a plaque. was founded by Andrew Churn, who ran the Panda Inn with his dad in Pasadena. 
The first Panda Express was meant to be a quick express version of what they sold at Panda Inn, and it was opened in the Glendale Galleria in 1983. See, listen, I throw tantrums, but not that big, right? Do I you, even knew the year! Do you remember seeing this photo on the plaque? Mm, uh, no, because they didn't have that. It was a picture of the man. That is such a strange photo. It was a picture of the man himself. It's blurry people. Hey. It's okay to. It's, it's okay. not okay. It's okay to be loose. It is not okay. It's okay. I've I've rode that wave a long time. You know what'll cheer me up? What? Animal fries. Southern California classic, In and Out. We got the burger, loaded animal fries. These particular animal fries not cheering me up as much as I would like. They're them to. they're fossilized. <laughs> uh, and 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 a little milkshake here. Mmm, mmm. That's good. Okay. Milkshake stays good. Milkshake stays good. Yes. <sighs> in and out. They've got like a 50s theme with their t-shirts. If you and, heard and it was from the 50s, you'd be like, of all course. Stuff. Of course, 50s been taken. Is it established before McDonald's? I mean, the freaking White House is all the way back in the 20s. I think it's 1940. Well, you can think what you want. I think it's older than McDonald's. Well, you've been right so far this day. This day. They play on the old fashionedness of their stuff. They have know? freaking white hats that look like straight out of the 50s. Maybe even the 40s. Maybe even the 30s. Dang, I'm gonna go between 30 and 40 then. Stop, 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 stop! Wow, you're, you're on fire I love today. this new board. You are on fire. <sighs> okay, uh, I'm actually thinking 60s. I, I don't know why I'm thinking 60s, something about like the Southern California of it all. Southern California didn't come out of the ocean until like <laughs> the 50s. Um, if I just am, am more in 40s than you are, and then I'm closer to 60s, that's a pretty good guess. So I'm gonna try to land on 40. That'll put me closer to 60. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, you've done what you wanted. But if it's 40, you are in there. So you, so you would still get it. The first In-N-Out was founded by Harry and Esther Snyder and has remained a family-owned company ever since the first Baldwin Park location opened in 1948. Ah! <laughs> Dang it! Yeah! And here's a photo. Oh, it, a seen lot the of them are still like that now, where it's like you got yeah. two drive throughs on either side. It's, it's like classic. cookout. I'll be dying. Subway. Look at that, yeah, you, you want to expose the sub? Oh, I want to do more than that. Take, take a half. Take, take it. it. Free from tomatoes. Hmm. Hmm. I've been around a while as well. All right. Am I still in the lead? Because I should go first. I can't remember. Four, four to zero. I can't win at this point, Link. I'm just trying to prevent the queen sweep. The thing about Subway is that I would have thought it was 1980. It just seems like something that came about in the 80s, but that's been taken. It's definitely not 90s. I think it's 1979. I'm getting cocky now. Yeah, you shouldn't I, do that. I, it's not a good look for you. It's gonna be my demise. Just uh, listen, man, you know what you have the opportunity to do? To queen sweep, which has never happened in this game, either way. I don't wanna hear this, man. You're messing with me. <sighs> are, you th are you saying I should change my answer? No, it's 19, it's in the 70s. Gotta nail it. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. It did, did it touch the 70s? Uh, it's technically touching the 70s. Ah, but just barely. Well, okay. Here, here, here's the deal. I'm gonna magnanimously say, if you can call it and land on it and it's right, you win the game. Are you saying if I call the 70s and I land on the 70s, I win the whole game? It has to be completely contained within that section, touching no black border, and it's right. I'm not gonna land completely inside the 70s. It's not gonna happen. You believe you can. I'm gonna try. <laughs> bank shot. I have to bank shot and then land completely in the 70s. Uh, this... Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
seventies. Please be seventies. Sixties. Please be. Please be. Subway was founded when nuclear physicist Peter Buck gave college freshman Fred DeLuca a one thousand dollar loan to partner on opening a submarine sandwich shop in Bridgeport, Connecticut, in nineteen sixty five. Oh, dang. So this is a, a photo of the first location. It was called Pete's Super Subs, and then in 1968, they changed 60. it to Subway. You they should have they they kept Biffy. I like that. All right, Rhett, you got to get some fries in your draws. Man, oh, the man. fast food elves. Stevie, you could have just have, lied. Have shone down on You could have just lied, but no, nope, I got to put fries in my pants. I got to hand it to you. That bank shot was good, but it was just <sighs> erroneous. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Krista, and we're from Fort Worth, Texas. And we're about to eat In-N-Out Burger for the first time. And it's, and it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. Oh, they want to see if it's better than Whataburger. Don't well, wait on those fries too long. It is. <laughs> Click the top link to watch one of us guess the pettiest fast food lawsuits in Good Mythical World. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Make your voice heard and vote like a beast. Visit votelikeabeast.com for all your voting needs.